everything that you're saying is I think when you really look at it, what really suffers is because you're essentially bringing the same perspective and experiences to the table when you do take that easy route of like, okay, this person is related to me. It's like, yeah, they might be competent and yeah, they might be good and yeah, they might feel everything that we need to feel. But but at the same time, it's not even necessarily that they're not the best candidate, but they're not a different candidate. They're not bringing something different that I don't already know or don't already have to the table, which could, uh, which is a growth opportunity. And also I hate when people say like diversity. I hate that word. I've grown to hate that word. Cause in me, that's your own self hatred. No, I just it's not. I don't have self hatred. I just hate the word. You diversity. don't have self hatred. Not when it comes to that word. <laughs> I really don't. I just hate that word because when people use it, they're full of shit. They don't really mean diversity. Because diversity means not someone who looks and acts like you. Like instead, you want diversity. Where well, I got a couple white people. I got like two black people I got like three Latinos I got an Indian person I got an Asian person But all the people who are in charge are all white That's like standard in every frame of the society we live in And then people want to scream diversity It's like diversity If you're really going to use it And not bastardize the definition Really just comes down to somebody else being in charge Outside of a white person Like them having to work like, that's equity. Like, them having to actually work for the opportunities that everybody else wants but never gets. And vice versa. I could even break it down to other groups. Like, let's say you look at a family business. That's supposed to be there. I'm not going to get mad if I apply for a job at a family business and I don't get it. It's a family business. Like, that's how they eat. That's how they put food on the table. That's not my issue. Now, if I'm out in the working world and I apply to a company. But that's what I'm talking about. Because if you're just always hiring your family, then you don't grow beyond your family. But I get that, too. But also, if it's a family business, it's a family business. And I can't hate on a family keeping their money in house. But most businesses are family businesses or start as family businesses. What about mid And that's, that's exactly the culture that you're. Saying is wrong The LA is Times is a family business It started as a family business Everything starts but as a family business I agree But what and is that, it right and In that, the context and that of what it is of, right now That sort of thinking Is exactly what the problem is With places like the NFL Because They do see themselves as a they use Fraternity the word family. Or a family And so they see that And that allows them to Be lazy when they're hiring That allows them to Not push the boundaries And look for Different people outside of their networks and outside of their... When you have to have a diversity portal for hiring so you can pick one or two people from that diversity pool, you're not really diverse. You're just being an asshole. If you have to have a section just for black candidates, that means you clearly don't really want to hire black people. Or you don't really want to hire Latinos. Or you don't really want to hire whoever else. It's just, you're just doing... Like, the Rudy Rule's been bastardized. You talked about this, and you brought it up. A couple of years ago or How like Well Now that there's a blueprint We'll just And if you wanted two minorities Then maybe one might get a job But it's still gonna be the same thing Like All those black head coaches Who got fired A bunch of White coaches replaced them And then the next season Nothing changed And then the next season Nothing changed And nothing ever changes But bottom line is I look at it like this I don't want diversity I want equity So like If you're like fine you want, You're gonna have nepotism Nepotism exists If I could hook up My little sister With an opportunity Versus a stranger On the street That I don't know I'm gonna put My little sister on Hey can I just tell you One thing What When you say Bottom line It's supposed to be Like one sentence After that uh, Like you said Bottom line Like four times And then you went on Like three other metaphors After you said Bottom line I probably did I don't know Like Bruh, what's the bottom line? I don't know. I don't don't know where the fuck the bottom line is anymore. I don't know what the bottom line is. You can't spell words. We're all fucked up over here. It's okay. Oh, God. Serve is serve. Last thing I wanted to get to was just a little little tiny bit of college football news. What? Because I had had one last NFL thing I wanted to get to, and I know this would have made you happy because you like Notre Dame. 
And I'm good. to the Cowboys. It's already like 10 to 5. All right, well, Jalen Smith uh, signed a five-year. Oh, yeah. $64 that would have been a good dollars. one for a touchdown and a turnover. But. I totally forgot. But, yeah, touchdown and a tangent. Um, take your tangent. Take your tangent. Wow. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. But, I mean, we had like seven great episodes in a row. So, like, if we had one down week, y'all, by the way, whatever. We got a great, I got a great interview coming up tomorrow. So, it's going to be fun. Look forward to that. Well, okay. I'll get to the bottom line eventually. Shit, I don't know where it is. <laughs> but yeah, Jalen Smith signed a five year, $64 million contract, $35.5 million in guaranteed money. Um, and I couldn't be happier for the dude because him, that cheap shot that was in Ohio State Notre Dame game that was done to where it fucked up his knee and it tore his ACL and his LCL. I was sad, bro, because honestly, like that's the he one. He was dude, one of the best college linebackers. He was the ever. best college linebacker, and he probably would end up running like a four four, some crazy shit like that. But the fact that he got his speed back, and I remember you were the one of the people saying he wasn't going to make it back. So I want that on record too. That that makes two of your guys. That makes I, I, don't, I don't think I said that. You're like, I don't know if he's going to play at a high level ever again because his knee injury is pretty terrible. And I was like, no. Nah, well, they said he had knock foot. <laughs> drop foot. Yeah, drop foot. <laughs> That's nasty. That's so bad. <laughs> I'll probably have that. <laughs> nah. But, um, what the fuck is that? And which, by the tell way, us, I I everyone, drop foot is? it's like where your like, foot like, yeah, like hangs a little bit. Like it's like. When you're doing nothing, when it's resting, your foot just hangs dead. Like just a limp carcass. So imagine trying to run full speed with a limp carcass for a foot. You're always like half a step slow. Like it's there and it like works, but it's not like you're fully never responsive. Get the the like, nerve isn't going to regenerate and come back. Yeah, something like that. So yeah. But, but yeah. yeah. I'm happy for him. And the which, fact by the way, draft pundits were right about Gurley because he is wearing down in the second contract. So, yeah, but all running backs were in that. Like, think about how many touches Georgia running backs get. Well, he and there was a drought split. for Georgia running backs. He split carries before Gurley. There was a drought. All right, man. I want to get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Last thing the senior bowl watch list drop. There were 29 quarterbacks. Yeah. There were 29 quarterbacks and what else? Fam, right. That was a long ass list on the rundown. You better make this quick because I saw like. Three paragraphs. They were a fit. The so, some, so some of the players, so some of the teams with the most player were Michigan with 15, Auburn with 13, Ole Miss, South Carolina with 11, Georgia, LSU, Mississippi State, Ohio State, 10, Florida, Michigan State, Notre Dame, Tennessee, 9, Missouri, Purdue, Vanderbilt, 8, Alabama, Arkansas, Oregon, Texas, 7, Utah, Iowa, Iowa State, Maryland, Nebraska, North Texas, Syracuse. I don't have a number for them. <laughs> I don't know. I guess six, probably. <laughs> I, I Total? Guess. Yeah, probably. You said North Texas. I was like, fam. Well, the thing is, like, this is going to be a group of NFL talent, but at the same time, a lot Vanderbilt of them aren't. Guys. It's also just guys who've just, you know, persisted. Van- Vanderbilt has a good running back and a good tight end, so we'll see. We'll see. But what do you take from that, the whole senior bowl list? I don't care about the senior bowl until the end of the season for those seniors. Like, once the national championship game is over, then I can care about the senior bowl because then I have a full template of what to look forward to. Well, yeah. And then there's think- juniors who could also, you know, want to be a part of the senior bowl, like Anthony Nelson. Like, you can't play in the senior bowl. I know, but you can practice. I don't think you can practice. No, like he was a he was a junior who graduated early, so he was allowed to be at the senior bowl. Yeah, I think he did play, Anthony Nelson. He yeah, did. I think if you graduate, or he might have been a saying. fourth. He might have been a transfer or something. Uh, he's like a fourth year junior. Yeah, but he has you had to get your degree at least. But I'm saying, cats like that, I'm all for it. But uh, I think it's too early to tell because teams haven't even played yet. All plus, I know is Chase plus, Young is a massive human being. Ohio State's defensive end. He might be Jadavian Clowney, but a better pass rusher. Plus, all those seniors like like Herbert are probably not even going to play. Like the really Justin high level guys. Yeah, yeah, he's not. By the way, Justin Fields won a starting quarterback job at Ohio State. 
And, and couple- Herbert is a biology tutor with the 4.1 GPA. Read that in Bleacher Report this week. That's awesome. Shout out to former Michigan quarterback. Uh, I think his name is Brandon Stevens. He's a starting quarterback for Illinois. All right, man. Well, can we make this this last part the unnecessary toughness rounds quick? Yeah. So All right. You want to go first? No, nah, let her go last because she's not gonna be here for a couple weeks. She gonna ramble though. That's fucked up. You ramble. I thought you were going to ramble this week. Okay, cool. Never mind. So I'm going to ramble this week? All right, cool. You've been rambling this whole fucking show. I don't what talk. Are you, you talking get about? Mad. I talk. You get mad. What do you want? Better content? <laughs> you asked. Speaking of you asked. Fine, you of asked. Speaking, wait, you want to say that one more time? Fired. You asked. I mean, that's a shot fired at yourself, too. If I'm embarrassing me, then I'm embarrassing you. Shout out to Eminem. I can't believe you just made me quote an Eminem song from a diss track. I'm really upset at you. So am I going? Okay, cool. So uh, got an interview coming up with uh, Connor Morissette, scoreboard live, high school reporter. Done a lot of great work. He's been around for a couple of years. Excited for that. It's actually, it'll, the interview will be happening Friday, August 23rd, because high school football is officially back now. Tomorrow. Well, I'm not going to say tomorrow when people who aren't hearing this are they hearing it on the playback. Ah, I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of me too. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Uh, but yeah, Friday 23rd, it'll be coming out next week on next episode, which will be like, what, the 20, I get paid that day, the 29th? Yeah, so it'll, it'll be, that interview with Connor Morissette will be coming on the 29th of August. Look forward to it. Um, Kenny's was it community commentary or cultural commentary? You said the name on Twitter. I think it was um community commentary. I, I think I said community conversation corner. No, nah, I think it was just community conversation. So we'll just go with uh, that. I said community conversation corner. That's a lot, bro. C C C. Okay, cool. C C thrice. All right. Anyway, um. I'm going to just say, man, whatever you're going through, summer's almost over. The hot girls lost, and at this point, it's just really embarrassing everything they do after that. Like, they lost. Like, y'all lost. Unless Rihanna can actually, you know, if Rihanna comes out, everybody wins. The only thing that can save the summer is if uh, Rihanna decides. By the way, now that I think about it, Lil Yachty. Was it Lil Yachty? He tried to ride the boat and make the style. He took all his momentum. It was a funny joke about you know, Lil Yachty like starting trends, and then female rappers came and just took it, flaming, and it fit him. It fit them way better. And now Lil Yachty's just quiet out here. But anyway, um, yeah, good luck to everybody in high school football. Uh, definitely some journalists and people I have a, my eye on that I really want to have a conversation with. About the state of college football and transferring Because boy People are really tight about that shit Like Dorsey They losing tra- they lost a bunch of transfers um, Just A lot of t- Like man it's crazy to think like Are there football deserts In LA Like There's always been football deserts in LA. No but like but I mean like LA inner, Like inner city LA like that's crazy to think Or like all this talent, but they're just not going to your school. Or you have talent in your area. No one goes to that school, and they go everywhere else but your school. But you're supposed to. That's have, always been LA. But still, it's crazy, though. <laughs> it's like, always been But LA. in 2019, where you can transfer anywhere, like you had Chad Johnson's son transferring from Venice to, like, a better high school. It's just, I'm just, the more and more I dig deep into this high school transfer thing and and really focusing back on like local sports it's just really the stories that are being told and information that's coming out and these coaches and how it really affects people that really interests me i'm gonna explore that more and you're gonna hear that more on uh, kenny's cultural community commentary you just added a you just added two c's that weren't even the initial c's yeah, but they sound, it sounded better coming from me. Not really. Yes, it did. It's Kenny's not. It's not cult- cultural commentary you're interviewing. So that shit doesn't even make sense. Kenny's I don't know why you keep saying commentary. That. It's that not is- commentary. You're doing an interview. Damn it! All right, Kenny.